Hello Aries. Welcome to your tarot reading. Today we're going to be discussing what you can expect in love for the month of May 2018. So these tarot cards have fallen out. We have the Two of Cups and we have the Strength Tarot card and they're both in the overall energy position. I feel like love is coming into your life, love and commitment. For some of you guys, it could be with a Leo individual. The Strength Tarot card is associated with the star sign of Leo. The strength tarot card can also be talking about the possibility that this union you have with this individual is something that is going to be really strong in its foundation. And I feel like you are going to be in a position in which you can control the outcome of this situation. You see, the woman in the strength tarot card represents this very graceful and you know, beautiful kind of individual that has control over the beast. The lion represents the beast and the lion can represent the man in the situation. So I feel like you're going to be in a position of power when it comes to this particular relationship that is coming into your life in May. For some individuals, this union that you're going to have with this individual is going to test your inner strength. And in the challenges position, we have the Eight of Cups, a very unusual tarot card in the context of these two tarot cards. It means that someone is being challenged in terms of wanting to walk away from a commitment or a union. And that is talking again about why the strength tarot card is here. Some of you could be married or you could be in a relationship with a person. But this relationship is not fulfilling you completely and you want to walk away but you can't. Or you could have met someone in the month of May or in the prior months and you feel like this person completes you on a certain level, but not entirely. The Eight of Cups can also represent the individual that you're dealing with. They could have turned their back to the situation, and that's why it is required of you to be strong during this period. So we have two very interesting tarot cards in the gold position. We have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Lover's Tarot card. This is an indication that some of you are dealing with a choice. You could be dealing with a situation that involves your soulmate, but you don't see anything solid or stable, or this person is not offering you any sort of commitment you know, the type that you're looking for. The Lover's Tarot card is astrologically linked to the star sign of Gemini and the Stern Tarot card is linked to the star sign of Leo. You could be dealing with one or two of those type of individuals. It can be from any other star sign. But if it represents a Leo or a Gemini, then you would understand the context of the tarot card reading better. Root of the issue, Ace of Swords. An indication that there's a lack of communication, there's a lack of breakthroughs, there's a lack of the meeting of the minds. Someone is withholding information, someone is holding back, someone is not communicating with you and telling you what they actually feel. And for the Aryan individual, this can be very frustrating because no response is a response. And if this person is not willing to communicate with you, then what do you really have? 
In the past, we have the King of Swords. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. So, the King of Swords can also represent someone that is outspoken, someone that is intellectual, someone that is not really loving or romantic or nurturing. But they are very driven and ambitious. They are the type of person that uses their mind more than they use their heart. We have the Hierophant Tarot card. And this is indicating to you that you do have commitment and stability coming towards you. Now the Hierophant Tarot card talks about doing things in a traditional manner, following the rules, you know, following the orthodox approach to life. And that is, you know, being obedient, being the traditional type of person. But it is a very strong tarot card for commitment and for some individuals it can represent marriage. In terms of your attitude, it almost feels as if someone has a lot of doubts, perhaps even fears. We have the Ten of Pentacles tarot card. So ultimately, you know that you're going to have, you know, stability, commitment, and things are feeling as if you are looking towards this future with this particular individual in a very positive manner. So that's telling me that you have this positive state of mind, even though you have your doubts. We have the Knight of Pentacles tarot card in reverse position, indicating that things have come to a standstill or they're moving really slow in the month of May 2018. The tarot card in the hopes and fears position is the judgment tarot card. And the judgment tarot card can represent, you know, another opportunity, giving a person another chance. It can also talk about the fact that you are looking back on the past and learning from your mistakes and you are, in a sense, reborn. So you're looking at life from a different perspective. In the outcome position, we have the Five of Wands tarot card in reverse position, indicating that if you have been in conflict with yourself or with this person, that is going to clear up and that you're going to have more peace. If there have been differences of opinions, if there have been minor disagreements, conflicts, all of that is going to be cleared up and it's going to open up a different route for you and that's going to be more harmony, more happiness and more understanding in your life. I feel like you are dealing either with a soulmate union year or perhaps a twin flame union. So there is a possibility of that. I hope that you enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can get one at thetarotempress.com. Remember to subscribe and to like this video. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.